a one. <laughs> Ready? Mm -hmm. Tonight we're going to talk about personal accountability. And, uh, and it brings in a little bit about what Maureen was saying from the Bible, is that we look in the mirror and we judge ourselves and, and, and we, we tend to sometimes make excuses. And we're going to talk about accountability tonight because I think that's very important. Because if we don't have some goals, if we don't take responsibility for ourselves, pretty soon we, we fall through the cracks. And, and, and I always say to people, do you think about your health every single day? Is there a plan when you get up? Or do you think about it on Thursday night, get all fired up, and then Friday, oh, I got a little bit of fire, but then it's the weekend. Oh, I got the weekend. And then by, by Tuesday and Wednesday, you're thinking, how can I get out of the meeting this week? Because I, I put out a couple of LBs, you know? So we need to think about it and review our goals every single day. So let's say your, your three major goals are, I want to lose 30 pounds, I want to exercise, I want to plan my meals. And then you've got some smaller ones. Well, I'm going to go through the coupons and find some good, healthy foods that have coupons. And, and I'm going to get a new pair of sandals, or no, a new pair of sneakers so I can walk better. And I'm going to get some sunglasses in case there's sun out when I'm walking. So then you start going, hey, I'm getting sunglasses. Oh, and I got those coupons. But you're losing sight of the three major goals. You're losing sight of the 30 pounds and the exercise and planning the meals. And, and this whole article here talks about a personal accountability system. I've showed you all my day timer before. I write everything down. Bob and I are pray it off aficionados. Where we've dedicated our whole lives. We've got it down two and a half years. We know this is what we eat on Thursday nights after the meeting and we eat this on Friday nights. Oh, we wouldn't eat that on a Wednesday night. No way. Are you kidding me? It's Wednesday. You know, and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm like, yogurt, yogurt. It doesn't matter to me. But this is the habits we've gotten into. We've planned to do that. But a lot of you are like going, I had to eat the pizza Wednesday night. It's all there was. And I'm like, in the whole world? All there was was pizza? All there was? Oh, my gosh. You know? So we need to really take a good look at that. We have some little tools. The log is one of them. You carry it with you, you have it with you. The log is a tool. I can't tell you how many times I've said to certain people, and they're probably going to come after me, up to me later on and go, I can't believe you said that in front of the whole group. <laughs> Too many carbs for breakfast. Who said you have to have toast and waffles and the you bacon? There's still bacon on the logs, bacon. You do not need those things. In two and a half years, you need to have a system in place. There's some people here who've only been here for a few weeks, and their logs are magnificent. They're exercising. They're losing weight. I'm not worried about the new people. I'm not worried about them. I'm worried about the old timers. Because you still haven't embraced the base. Oh, some of us have. Some of us have. The basic tenets. I'm going to come here on Thursday night, and I'm responsible for myself, and I'm going to keep a log, and I am going to do it. Two and a half years ago, I said, I am going to do it. We're still doing it. This is one of the things you have to do is because you can say, I want to lose weight. How many calories did I burn saying that? I'm going to lose this weight once and for all. That's not a plan. There's, there's no plan there. If you say, okay, I'm going to go to PNC, I'm going to go to Price Shopper and get gas money, yeah. I'm going to write down what I'm going to get. On Thursday, I'm going to have this. On Friday, I'm going to have that. I'm going to go walking this day. I'm going to exercise that day. But when you, when you, I love how this guy says, when you go dark. And you know what I always call going dark? The fugue state where you don't think about it and you're going like this. When you go dark, and then all of a sudden the light comes back, you're like, holy crap, I gained seven pounds in one week? Are you kidding me? How did that happen? You go dark and things can happen. I love this line, listen to me carefully. Purposeful transformation is better than tragic realization. If you take personal responsibility and say, I will transform myself, 
Or you'll wake up and you say, wow, I'm still fat? How did that happen? <laughs> you're still fat because you're not moving more, eating less, and asking God to help you. You have to have a system. You have to have a plan. And I don't tell people. If you want to eat and you're losing weight and you want to walk or bike, I don't say you're bike riding, you should be walking. Do whatever works. I don't say, well, you had yo play yogurt, you should be eating Shobani yogurt. Do whatever works, but you have to have a plan. And here's the key. Your health has to be an integral part of every day. I think what we do is we say, I gotta go to work and I gotta fight the battles of Bedford Falls and I gotta put out that fire and I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Oh, my health? Oh, I'll think about that tomorrow. And I'm telling you, we know it from personal experience, each day's got a life of its own. A problem here, this issue, that issue, you still gotta stay on track no matter what. That's what the log does and I, did you notice I put JMJ at the top now? Mm -hmm. And the reason is, I'm trying to save time. I read, that means Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. I want to bless everyone's log. And then I says, you know, maybe I'll put it on everyone's log, and then I don't have to write it. And every once in a while, I forget and still do it. But the log <laughs> is an integral part, and that's where you will begin.